All right, Chinese skit time. Uh, we have uh, two packages in this kit. Uh, there's a case and the actual board itself. So let's get this onto a tray. Nice. So this is another function generator, but I think it's going to be a pretty nice one. Uh, 2023-06. Wow, really? Jeez. It's 07 right now, or is it 08? I guess it's 08. Um, so this one uses a fancy part. This is the uh, ICL80. 38. So this is a function generator on a chip. So it's going to use that. It's got some uh, It's got some op amps, I think. TL082s. Ah, oh, I should test those. Uh, maybe I'll test those before we put them in the board. And a ICL7660. That's a uh, charge uh, voltage inverter. So it's a re regulator that inverts the voltage. So It'll take whatever the incoming is and flip it upside down. Uh, nice double-sided board, pretty good quality. Yeah, a bunch of parts. Uh, it does come with a schematic, uh, which is hard to read, uh, but basically it's the chip and some buffering. And does it give me, yeah, it gives me a parts location and everything. Gives me some actual instructions on welding. I always call that welding. Um, blah, 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 blah. Jumper cap switching out, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, I don't like to read stuff, so let's just get it built. All right, uh, so C3, 4, 5, 6, C3, 4, 5, and 6, okay, 101, hmm. All right, so, okay, these will be easy. There's a bunch of them. Let me uh, measure what these are. Those are stupid resistors. I can never read the date, the date codes. The um, <laughs> Uh, color codes on. Okay, these are 10Ks. Let's put in the 10Ks. Try not to poke myself this time. I got me buy me one of those uh, demag demagnifiers, demagnetizers. There you go. There's the word demagnetizers. Uh, these cutters are always magnetized. All right. Let's see here. Small font, but I can just read it. Uh, resistance 10K. Okay, R910.
All right, uh, we are all put together and I have power applied. So we get a big bright, bright blue LEDs there. Try to hide that. Soon we have four controls and then two adjustments. Um, these controls will eventually go outside the case with knobs. These are internal adjustments to adjust the uh, distortion of the sine wave, I believe. Uh, this selects triangle sign and this is uh, five banks of capacitors, one, two, three, uh, four banks of capacitors um, to change the uh, speed. Uh, so low gear, high gear, yeah, low gear, anyway, you know, <laughs> coarse and fine. There we go, coarse and fine. Uh, this is the uh, inverter for the uh, power supply. Input 12 volts, I think it generates plus and minus nine. Nine volt regulator, and then it flips it. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the waveforms. Over. So we can adjust the uh, duty duty cycle with this one and the frequency with this one. All right. And uh, then we can move over to the sine and triangle. That's the sine and here's the triangle. Triangle looks okay. There's some funny adjustments on that trigger on it better. There we go. Um, let's make this a little bigger. There we go. Uh, that's better. Um, so we're getting a little funniness. I don't know if that's an op amp. We should check the op amp, make sure it's okay. But let's go back to the sine wave. And we obviously have some, a bunch of distortion and stuff. So let's turn those uh, two pots down here. There's that those are supposed to, uh, adjust the sine wave somehow. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I guess one adjusts the top and one adjusts the bottom and you can kind of tweak it around until it looks okay. Doesn't look great. <laughs> Certainly does not look great. Um, whoa, my camera just slipped. Oh, sorry about that. Um, yeah. It's that bottom one again. Let's see if we can round out that round that one out about there or we'll round the bottom out about there yeah that's pretty cool we could run this into the um, total harmonic distortion meter and then adjust those two that would probably make more sense uh, let's do that let's see total harmonic distortion all right we're going to be using my distortion meter up there and we will adjust this. Uh, what are we getting? We are getting nothing. And that's I'm putting the right leads on it. Yeah. Let's see. Sign out ground. Hmm. Interesting. Are we getting any volts out? Oh, there we go. 9 volts AC. Okay, let's do a total harmonic distortion. Overflow. Maybe I'm going too fast for it? I don't think so. What? We are at 28 kilohertz. Oh, that is above. Uh, 28 kilohertz is above the audio range, so total harmonic distortion is not defined. Ah, there we go. Now we're at 2 kilohertz. Okay, that's better. So 2 kilohertz. And we're getting... Uh, 10% total harmonic distortion. So I will tweak, tweak one of those adjusters there. Oh, there we go. Five, four, oh, then it goes back up again. So let's go to four, then let's adjust the other one. Oops, gone down, let's see here. Four, two, oh, okay, so four, two is its bottom. We'll adjust this one again. Four two zero. What's about four two zero? Is about as good as it gets. All right, so that's about as good as it gets. Four percent, <laughs> not great. Um, oh, you could see the. Uh, I had it adjusted. Oh, so clever, wasn't I? <laughs> you could you could watch the waveforms here too. So yeah, let's do that again. I I didn't watch that bottom waveform. Yeah, interesting. Those are not the, not the, not what I would have chosen, but measurements don't lie. 
Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's a better sine wave. Excellent. Okay, well, that's all that thing does. Uh, let's put it in a box and maybe test that op amp. That'd be fun. All right, I have a, a good TLO82 here, and this is the TLO82 that, uh, that we got with our kit. So let's take a look at a, a nice sine wave. That's with the good op amp. Let's move it over to the op amp I received, and it's got that classic glitch in it. So yeah, you get bad op amps with the kit. So I think I'll put a good op amp in it and see if it does anything better. Or if you remember, the other one had like a little bit of glitches on the output too on the generator. So anyway, there you go. Yeah, op amp's not that great. Okay, let's uh, see what we got for a case. Uh, typical clear plexiglass. Um, I got four knobs, very nice. And all we have to do now is take this stuff off. And yes, I know the tape trick. The tape trick doesn't always work. Uh, but let me go find some tape, see if it does. This copper tape's got really good sticky on the back, so. If it doesn't work with copper tape, it's not, yeah, see? You just can't get enough stick because the stuff is like Teflon. It's, it's like waxed, it just, it won't stick. Uh, yep. So the tape trick doesn't work, so stop, stop suggesting that. <laughs> All right, oh, that's good. These are pretty fresh. Sometimes these things are so old, they're really hard to get off, this one. This one wasn't too bad. All right, I'll be back when I get all this tape off. Mm -mm. All right, the little sticker said it was made last month, so amazing. All right, so we have to have, oh, let's see here. This goes like this. Uh... Okay, this one says duty, this one says frequency, this is offset, and this is amplitude. So, there you go. Um, yeah, it's a nice little kit. Um, I, I splurged with the case. I think, uh, I forget how much I paid for it, but the case was, I think case was extra. Um, it is marked, this different ranges, 5 to 50 hertz, 50 hertz to 500 hertz. 500 hertz to 20 kilohertz, 20 kilohertz to 400 kilohertz. So that's what this jumper does. Now this jumper is triangle and sine. I think I demonstrated that 12 volts in or something. It's got a regulator, so anything above 11 volts is fine. I just put some little wires in here so I can clip to them. So yeah. Um, I think it's a nice little kit and uh, looking good. <laughs>